6.6 Modeling with Trigonometric Functions. I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some questions from the book Nelson. It is question 13 page 363 as requested by my subscriber John. The question here is a wall clock is hanging on a wall with center of the clock 3 meters above the floor. The hour hand is 8 centimeter long. Determine the equation of the cosine function that describes the distance of the tip of the hand above the floor as a function of time. Assume that the time t is in minutes and the distance d of t is in centimeters. Also assume that at t equals to zero is midnight. So let us assume that we have a clock here on the wall, right? So that's the clock. And, uh, and let us say this is this is the flow for us. So what we are given here is that the hour hand starts at this point and the length of our hand is 8 centimeters. So this, this is 8 centimeters. And the clock is 3 meters above the floor. So the height of the clock is 3 meters. So convert meters to centimeters. It becomes 300 centimeters, right? So it is very important to convert to same units, right? So that is the height of the clock. Now we need to determine the equation of a cosine function that describes distance of the tip of the hand above the floor as a function of time. Now we are also assuming that t equals to 0 is midnight. That means the hour hand is pointing at 12, correct? So that is the position. So it starts with the maximum. So as it moves, we'll see that it is actually following a cosine function. So if we sketch this cosine function here, we'll kind of get a graph. Let me sketch one, which will be one cycle which will which will be like this All right so it starts with the maximum then goes down and then comes up so this is when it goes down and then it goes up now one cycle for the hour hand takes how much time it takes 12 hours so one cycle is 12 hours so in this particular case what we know is that the time period is 12 hours if you want to convert that to minutes, you need to multiply by 60 minutes. So it becomes 12 times 60 minutes, right? So that is the time period. Now if time period is this much, the value of k will be 2 pi by t. So that should be 2 pi by 12 times 60, right? So that goes 6 times. So we have pi over 360 as the value of k. Now amplitude a is going to be the length of the needle, the hour hand, which is 8 centimeters. Perfect. And the value of c is 300 centimeters. Now you'll be wondering what is c, what is a, right? So let me write down the transformed equation for the cosine function we're trying to develop. In general, the equation will be y equals to a times cos of within square brackets k times x minus c plus d, right? Now, this is what I mean. So, a is 8 centimeters. k we just found, which is 2 pi by t, Time period is 12 hours. Converted to minutes gives us pi over 360 as the value of k. d is the axis. This axis is 300 centimeters above the ground. That is c. And since the starting position is 12, so it starts right from the top. The maximum value of cosine. So the phase shift d is 0 for us. Right? Substituting these values we get our equation and that is so we will use instead of x we are using time t so I'll change the variable x to t right so our equation will be 
and we want dt as dt as the distance right distance in centimeters so y is a function of time so dt so we'll use d of t the distance is equals to a is 8 cos of k is pi over 360 t is a function c is 0 so 0 plus 300 so that gives you the function for our hand do you see that now in case you need to write similar equation for the minutes or seconds hand then what you need to do is replace a with the length of the minutes or seconds hand and k will change since how much time does one minute hand takes to go around right and how much time does a second hand goes takes to go around right so a seconds will go in one minute right 60 seconds a minute will take 60 minutes to go through it so you have to change the value of k which will be 2 pi by the time period right so but the steps are going to be exactly same so I'll recommend that you go through that exercise yourself and write down your equation I hope this explanation helps important thing here is to follow same units which in our case is centimeters for the length or the height in this case thank you